welcome. This is a men's channel with men's content. If you are easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. I am your host, Jeremy Hill, the Gentleman Rogue. Now let us get into the subject matter, ladies and gentlemen. Modern women, black women in particular, in my most humble opinion, black women are nothing more than a flight risk. Now if you are unfamiliar with the term flight risk, let me explain that to you before I get further into the subject. You are determined to be a flight risk once the judge says that there is a possibility that you may flee before you stand trial for a crime that you have been charged of. So in other words, if the judge feels that you will leave before returning back to face possible judgment, he will deny your bail. You see it all the time where people are killed and then they flee to Mexico to try to get away from American laws and American judgment. Now, how does this behavior parallel with the behaviors of black women? Where for one, a flight risk is a runner. Black women are also runners. They run from relationships, they run from commitments, they run from femininity, they run from accountability, they run from responsibility. So that behavior also parallels with the behavior of a flight risk. Now other things come along that make a black woman a flight risk. In other words, a person that will abandon you, flee from you, to go from one location to another location, one person to another. Um, one of the things that makes a black woman today a flight risk is the hypergamy, the hypergamous nature of a black woman. She could be with you for many years, many days, many months. You could have committed a whole lot to her. You could have invested a lot of your time, a lot of your non-sexual energy, a lot of your sexual energy, a lot of your considerable resources. But if a man comes along with a better, with a better deal that has more than you, considerably more than you, then a lot of modern day black women will flee from you, flee from you and get into the arms of another man. She has become a flight risk based upon a hypergamous nature. So a woman like that can never be trusted. When a woman feels that the grass is greener on the other side, on the other side, a lot of times the grass isn't greener on the other side, but it's the perception. And for a lot of people, perception is reality. So that hypergamous nature that I'm discussing, that's inside of a woman's heart can cause her to be a flight risk. So once you get in a relationship with a woman, you must also take into account what type of woman is this? Have I vetted her well enough to know that she won't leave me when my money isn't right? That she won't leave me when I get laid off? That she won't leave me, I mean leave me, excuse me, if I get fired or I have to quit my job for whatever reason it may be. I need to know that she's not going to jump ship and go to somebody else because they have more than me. And a lot of men don't think like this when they get into relationships with women. They just get in it and think it's going to work out. Mm -mm. A lot of women are gold diggers. A gold digger is nothing more but a hypergamous woman. Someone who is always looking for more. And if you have an appetite for more, you would never be satisfied. Okay? Another thing that lets you know if she's a flight risk is if she exhibits for the streets behavior. If this woman is always wondering about clubs, um, going places where there are groups of people who are always drinking or smoking, if she herself used to be a club hopper but still has that in her system, then she is going to then she is going to um, consider going back to that. She will also go back to um, being around the same friends that she used to have. That's another way to know if she's going to be a flight risk. If she still maintains friends that she used to run around with when she was in a hoe phase. When she was out there whoring around, sleeping with everybody she could, sleeping with everyone that grinned at her or gave her some money or did any type of favor for her, and she was just out there bad, having threesomes, sleeping with random men, then she is still for the streets. She is still for the streets. If she's still showing that type of behavior, Okay, now if she is running to social media all the time for validation, she is also a flight risk. You get what I'm saying? Because whenever you have an argument with her, whenever you are not um, on the best terms with that lady, if she feels like, well, I don't need to talk to him if he don't want to tell me I'm pretty, if he doesn't want to treat me like this, I can go to my DMs 
because there's a whole lot of beta male orbiters in her DMs. There's always attention being thrown at her through social media. 24-7, 365 days of the year. If she stays on social media and she doesn't have a business, she's for the streets and she is a flight risk. Meaning that as soon as someone comes along and tell her what she wants to hear, FaceTime her, DMs or whatever it may be on social media, she will leave you. Even if she doesn't break off the relationship with you entirely, she'll go sleep with that other man because of how he making her feel. See, women don't really love you. They really just love how you make them feel. Um, another thing, if they have low self-esteem, this goes with the validation that they need from other people on social media. If they have low self-esteem, it does not take much for any man to say anything kind to her that's going to get her wet. If you're not doing your job as she thinks, you could be doing everything you're supposed to be doing. Paying the bills, protecting, providing everything that you're supposed to be doing. You're not a perfect man, but you're a decent man. And a lot of women don't want a decent man, they want a perfect man. So when a man come along and start boosting her self-esteem up a little bit or just telling her something that sounds good, she's a flight risk because she's going to sleep with you. She's going to flee from you. I'm just letting you know how it goes, man. Now, another thing is she is an attention whore. This also ties into the social media theme because um, if she is an attention whore and she posts sexually provocative pictures online, she is most definitely a flight risk because she thirst, what do you call it, thirst trapping. She's looking for thirsty dudes who are willing to cash app her, send her money through Vingmo or whatever it may be. She just wants attention. She'll do things. She'll use all types of wild tactics to um, and anything that could provoke anybody. She is an attention whore. She'll do anything. She does not like when the spotlight is not on her. She does not like when people are not complimenting her. These type of women love to be a victim, not because they are actually a victim, but because they like the attention they can get from being a victim. They like when people say, oh, baby, it's going to be okay. Just give me attention. That woman is a flight risk. She is going to leave you when she finds the right person to give her the right type of attention. Another way to know she is a flight risk. If she has a whole bunch of guy friends in her phone, a whole lot of cousins, a whole lot of dudes, a whole lot of play brothers, a whole lot of step daddies, all this stuff like this going on, she is a flight risk. Because I promise you a lot of these dudes have tried to hit this or have already hit it. You know what I mean? And she's just giving them these names to try to disarm you from your suspicion. I'm trying to tell you, she is a flight risk. Do not trust that bride for anything. And another thing, another way to tell if your girl is a flight risk, that she's going to abandon you eventually, that she's going to quit the relationship eventually, is if she is too friendly on the job. If men feel too comfortable talking to your lady, feels too comfortable brushing up on your girlfriend. Now I ain't talking about sexually, but just brushing up, bumping into and a whole bunch of kiki -ki -ki and a whole bunch of laughing in each other's face, a whole bunch of smiling in his face to her face. She is a flight risk. Because every woman knows when a man is trying to get at them. If a woman tell you, well, I don't know, I didn't know this what it was, she is a liar, period. Because women grow up ever since they was 12 years old almost. They have always had somebody trying to sleep with them. I hate to say that, even the perverts, but it's the truth. Ever since they was a teenager, they have always dealt with people trying to sleep with them. So how is it when they get into the workforce, they're old enough to work, they're in their 20s, 30s, or 40s, that they cannot recognize when a man is trying to flirt or sleep with them? Do not believe that BS when they tell you they don't know what's going on. That's a lie. If a man feels that he can talk to your woman, it's because she has made, made him feel invited. It's because she has made him feel welcome. It is, all you got to do is look at everybody else on the job. There are going to be women that if you try to talk to on a job, they're going to make it known without being disrespectful or they can make it known while being disrespectful. But you're going to know that you can't talk to them because they're going to let you feel it. They're going to say something, do something, let you know I can't holler at her, right? Now, gentlemen, you know, when you get up on a woman at the job and she seems too cool and all the stuff like that, you already know what it is. You'll find these men buying her um, stuff on the job, like work husbands. That man will go out there, take out the lunch, buy her lunch, bring her stuff from uh, while she in at work. This man that she works with, if she is too friendly on the job, she is a flight risk. She's going to leave you. And again, being a flight risk does not mean that she is going to totally cut off the relationship. She could be a married woman and still come home to you 
and take care of the kids and stuff. When I say flight risk in this regard, it means that she's going to temporarily flee from her commitments that she has towards you, that she has professed towards you to go sleep with somebody else to be a whore. She's going to flee from her responsibilities and accountability of being in a relationship with you so she can go have this short-term pleasure. When she's done with that, she comes back and try to act like she's faithful to you. She's a flight risk. I'm trying to think I got everything covered. Yeah, like I said, um, if she runs to the, if she has for the streets behavior, when she always feels like she's missing out, when she always on the phone saying, hey girl, what happened at the club? Or, hey girl, how'd it go down there? Hey girl, uh, how was it down there on the, on the holiday? And she's always trying to figure that out and get information that because her heart is still in the streets, it's because she wants to be in the streets and she's making plans to get to the streets. So she'll plan to start arguments and fights with you to try to get back in the street so she can go out there and do her drugs, go out there and do her drinking, go out there and sleep with random men, go out there and just be a wild animal type of horse individual while she cut wide because she has for the streets behavior still stuck in her spirit, soul, mind, and heart. You get what I'm saying? So when you see these things, you see these symptoms of a whore, this woman is a flight risk, okay? She'll say things like, if instead of fighting with you, she'll say things like, you know what, I really need to go see my family. I need to be around some people. Hard times are going on. Now keep in mind, you with the person. You should be aware if there's hard times or not. And you like, what you mean hard times? What's going on? Why are you depressed? Why are you um, going through what you're talking about? Why you feel this way? She, you don't know nothing about it. And you're not going to know nothing about it. She's trying to make a plan to get away from you so she can be a flight risk and go mess with other men. And go be a flight risk and go to clubs and be hit on by other men. Okay, she'll hit you with that story. I need to go be around, nothing wrong with you. I'm not mad at you. I just need to go be around my friends or my people for about two, three days. She'll try that if fighting with you don't work first. Well, anyway, if you see something in this video that made sense to you, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe.